Right, let's get shot Teresa on. The driver head cover is coming off. We're gonna look at what is an extremely weird stance that should help you sort of store a little bit more power and definitely get you dropping that uh, club into the slot, maybe avoiding some slices and pulls along the way. Stay tuned, it's a real interesting one, like I said, also a little bit weird. Right, so this drill comes from none other than, you guessed it, Alex Elliott Golf. And uh, as ever, this is my interpretation of Alex video instruction. Link down below if you wanna go and see his more detailed explanation, but seriously, it's quite straightforward, albeit weird. It's a very, very strange one. And it's about sort of our alignment of our feet, um, which will possibly train us into getting that club head in the uh, slot, if you like, as we refer to it as golfers. First thing you're gonna do, this is your normal stance, very much sort of square to target, shoulders would be square. You're gonna get in that position and you're gonna move that right foot back to what is effectively uh, your toes are in line with your left heel as a um, right-handed golfer. Really weird and our alignment is pointing, alignment of our feet at least, is pointing way over there as automatically is our shoulders. My club head is pointing down to the target line. I told you it was weird. Right, what you're then gonna do is just get yourself into that turn and what you'll see is first of all, what I like about it, it's not mentioned by Alex, is it generates a turn straight away. So for you to follow that path of your feet, your top half swings or turns, rotates very nicely. So this is what we do, right? And we're into a really good position, or a strong position at least there, in terms of storing a bit of power. That's what I like. You're then gonna turn back, and you're gonna hit through, turn back, hit through, turn back, hit through, turn back, hit through. It feels really powerful, that's the first thing, like I said, as I'm storing power. And what I'm not doing with this, by getting to there, I'm not moving over the top of the ball, and as you know, coming into that slice, because Alex talks about our hips being overactive in the swing and causing one of the significant problems that this uh, sort of will look to reduce at least. So, we've got that. All we now need to do is, we've done some practice swings, we're actually gonna hit a ball with that exact same stance. Okay, so, that is a decent drive, no matter which way you're standing on the golf course. But the interesting thing you'll notice, particularly from the camera behind, is just how inside my swing becomes. And I've got a problem with that as it is. But it seems to me the fact that I'm keeping it in that position um, when I'm completing the rest of my swing, obviously through that impact position, I'm coming very much on that inside plane, but also making sure that I'm uh, facing target when I finish, so getting through the ball effectively. And for whatever reason, as weird as it is, even with that stance in play, I've hit a real solid drive. And the one thing I know is that ball is doing anything but going right. There's no way I'm slicing that ball. With that stance that I've just adopted, my swing plane is basically bringing me very much on that inside. And like I said, I find it almost impossible that I could leave that club face open because what you're doing again with that sort of low point and what we've talked about, when that club face is starting to close, you're then obviously bringing the ball over for a sort of, if anything, a draw pattern shape. So it's really interesting. So that's a very exaggerated way of doing it. That might be a bit too weird. So what we're gonna do is just close that whole thing in a little bit and phase three is something that we could probably realistically take to the golf course. Cannot believe just how well that ball got hit with the weirdest stance I've ever adopted. But we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna sort of uh, meet somewhere in between. My address position, square where I'd normally be. We're not gonna take this right foot all the way back. We're gonna take it back so that it's in line with the front of our laces. So my toes are in line with the, where my laces start on my left foot. So I've still got that kind of <coughs> angle that is allowing me to turn inside, giving me a bit of room in that backswing, but it's not as exaggerated as back here, which was weird, but worked. Right, I'm gonna attempt that. I'm gonna have a little bit of a look and get my address position. So I'm aligning things 
first of all very much as normal in my setup position and then I'm going to take that club back or foot back rather just a little bit and just just feel the uh, you feel yourself coming on the inside and that's bullet straight Yeah, that's, I mean that centre stripe down the middle of the fairway, it's an absolute bewilderment isn't it? You can probably understand with a lot of these tips they're kind of like, um, they're quick fixes and people could be um, negative about them in terms of, you know, they're, they're not in theory unique to you as an individual and I would always say, like I said, if you've got some real swing issues then you need to see a PGA instructor and get some lessons but you can't argue, and I certainly can't argue that I've adopted a lot of these tips and tried them out and invariably, quite honestly, I've not found anything yet that hasn't impressed me massively in terms of the results it's achieved. So, one of the weirdest drills we've done so far, um, even if it starts to train you to swing just that little bit, to store a bit of power, to get that turn a little bit better, to get the hips less active uh, and, and active quicker in the swing, then uh, that alone might be a good little drill to start to do and you know Alex talks again about in your practice swing you might just want to exaggerate that go back to our initial position of foot way back and just get that feel of being able to it's, it's a I mean if I'm honest with you the further back it goes almost the more comfortable I felt and I felt really powerful in that turn and as if I was going to generate a lot of power and a longer drive anyway that's it me done another episode finished if you're new to the channel, very simply, this is all about me testing tips out there of uh, the leading golf YouTubers and translating them into, uh, well, my interpretation at least. So if you like what you're seeing, then please consider hitting that subscribe button and maybe your golf will improve along the way as I try to improve mine. Right, as ever, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.